hello friends today I am starting the new power bi series for beginners anyone who want to start uh, power bi from scratch they can go through this series it will cover uh, most of the fundamental aspects of power bi desktop and the key information about the power bi desktop power bi cloud power bi on premises and Primarily, we will focus on the Power BI desktop and uh, how to develop a Power BI report using Power BI desktop. Uh, this is the first lesson. In this, we will uh, try to cover uh, how to connect Power BI desktop to the MS SQL server and uh, fetch some data, load some data into Power BI and apply some slicers, filtering and have some donut chart there with uh, some slicers and uh, also we'll try to see some relation so this will give you very quick uh, overview idea about the power bi desktop and quick report creation using uh, ms sql server data okay let's start power bi desktop here okay and new this one okay it started now This is what we try to cover in this lesson one, guys. Now let's first connect. Okay, I don't need to sign in actually. Okay, so you guys don't don't worry about that. This is your first screen, but you can just close it. Go here on your get data part, and you will find more option also let's talk on this a little bit on this okay so this is your get data pan here and you will find all the connections available in power bi so virtually you can fetch any data actually like any excel file csv file xml json files in the folder pdf or different databases ibm netiza mysql post gre sql Sybase, Teradata, SAP HANA, or Google BigQuery, Impala. So there are a lot of connectors are available. Okay. But now we will start with SQL Server database. So that is Microsoft SQL Server. So I have my server ready and I have two tables there. So let's click on connect. So I have this uh, SSTD in that I just connected with this uh, server, dev server I have and uh, I have these two tables with me, one is consumer table and one is uh, team gender table and we will try to connect with uh, this team gender to consumer table team gender is having uh, ID and gender and it's a uh, very unique values there and here we have uh, consumer data and saying some last name gender ID CD state country and some unique IDs so this gender ID from the dim gender is like one to many relation to the consumer table so that is the relation part that we will try to cover this time so let's focus on first connection here so in my connection I need to type my server name here first and then uh, my database name and there is an advanced option I can go and uh, connect uh, I can go and write the query here 
but uh, let's focus on all tables right now I want to select all the tables available in my database or few of them from the bunch of tables but, uh, so in that case I will simply click on import here and uh, add the required information now this import and direct query is to uh, data connectivity modes and uh, you will find more details uh, in uh, next videos because import is something uh, you are doing uh, holding this data temporarily in the power bi file actually with the pbix file the data will be there and uh, it have some limitations there uh, we can talk more on that later and some uh, if you have uh, huge data then you have the option direct query so just forget about that right now direct query uh, we will focus on import part right now because I have uh, uh, my requirement and my data is sufficient for this uh, mode so let's click OK So now if you have few tables left you can click on refresh so whatever tables are there it's uh, coming in the navigator here I will select these two tables and uh, I will click on load and it's loading uh, it's fetching this data it will give you the counts here so just keep eye here how many records in this consume and how many in this team so you will get uh, two records here and some around 40k records in the consumer table and now just a quick uh, overview of this uh, power bi desktop here you will find this uh, page one of my this report pbix file so i can keep on adding some pages here and then each page is having uh, these tabs so report it's like a designer then data and relation so data is like uh, you can see the data uh, like in Excel and you can do some filtering and uh, some uh, you can do some filtering and addition or, or some read only operations here or if you want to apply those operations you have to click on the edit query we will see that later so let's start with building you know first uh, visual for which one let's give the name for this page lesson one and uh, now uh, on fields okay so here I have fields the fields is holding my table and uh, fields in my table and visualization will give me the different different visualization on my report and you can see here the orange one it's like showing you have selected report okay so we are in report mode right now so in report mode you will find this one and this pan if you go to data now the fields are there but there is no visuals or visualizations in relationship mode there is fields but there is no visualizations and these are still there okay let's build a relation first because we want to learn the relations also okay so uh, we know about uh, one to many many to many relationships are there okay many to one one to many it's the same okay so now here if you see I have this consumer table it's, it's having multiple uh, consumers with uh, gender and the gender ID value is like uh, male or female and here I have a unique table team gender it's having gender it's two value only one and two M and F so it's having uh, one record and here we have multiple records so let's click and drag and drop it here it builds a relation here okay now behind the scene it's going to work very uh, effectively and that we will see on our report part 
in relation we have build a relation one too many so what you can do you can achieve filter if you do some filterization here like you select only mail here it will filter this consumer table with mail records only okay that's what how you can see this one okay now go back to your report okay now here I have this Dean and my consumer table let's build a very simple UI using like a donut chart here okay I will take a donut chart and I want to see about gender information so in that case in my legend I will track gender and ID is a unique here okay so I will take value as ID but not sum remember this one I want a distinct count okay I want a distinct count now see what I'm getting here okay so I'm getting in gender ID I'm getting male female blank and zero so actually there are four values in that field okay and it means it's it's missing data is there or some wrong data is there zero is the wrong data okay and missing data is there so that's what I, I, I get some idea here now about my data so what is the data quality of my data I can get it here what is the percent of issues in my data that I can identify and now before you publish your report you should clean your data in that case uh, we will edit this consumer go to edit query and now I want to do some cleaning on uh, you know I want to do some cleaning I just want last name here now I want to do some cleaning on the consumer table so I can go and edit query click on edit query and now let's let's go to okay, I don't want this field I don't want this field okay it's halted actually hmm. let's close it applying changes let's do it again okay I don't want uh, this data as well okay let's keep this uh, minimal and now see the distinct value in the gender ID so it's showing me oh, capital M small and capital of small of zero and all these all things are there so out of 14 K records there are few records with this kind of values right you can see this so I want to remove this I want to filter this one in my data okay so what I can do so what I can do is I just simply click this here and say okay so now I have this all the records and also let's repress if there is a small f I want to replace with capital F okay and if there is a this value small m replace with capital M let's do it let's see what happens okay and say close and apply now it's not applied here yet because it's refreshing and now it's done boom okay now you have your clear data 
and it's showing only male and female that's what we are expecting now okay so this is done so in this lesson what we cover is like uh, how you will connect it to the SQL server okay and then a uh, uh, little bit about uh, how to edit some data okay how to filter some data like null value zero and other things and replace some values in the edit mode okay and we also build a relation here okay and uh, you can refresh your data by clicking on this refresh button it will uh, refresh the whole SQL all the tables available here that will be refreshed now in this part uh, for this donut chart we have covered about you know the legend field we used and the value field okay so this in more detail we will cover but right now this is uh, like an up and running uh, quick start for power bi so just uh, practice this one and uh, later we will cover all these tools components available in the power bi slowly okay thank you guys please like share uh, and subscribe this channel the subscription will uh, allow us to encourage us you know to create a more uh, creative videos and uh, we try to uh, answer your question please write down the questions please write down your comments uh, please write down what you expect from the these all videos or anything in power bi you you know you stop or you have any query in your project anywhere in your school college or at your organization uh, if you have any question around DAX or if you already know Power BI and you are stuck, please write down your comments. We try to solve your questions. You try to solve your queries. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you. Please do like, share, subscribe.